Hello! Today we're going to be doing something fun, putting random words onto an already made paper bead. So, to start, our materials are just any paper letter like this, you know, you get uh, in the mail. Some of them are junk mail. You need an already pre-made bead, which I'm just going to pick out here from my tray. This is a big double bicone bead. That's what we're going to be using. You will need a ruler, preferably one with a backing, a cork, so it prevents it from moving. A little makeup brush. If you're using an old makeup brush, make sure that it's washed thoroughly and there's no color on there. And the other thing we need, um, this is diamond glaze. It's a three-dimensional adhesive. You don't have to use diamond glaze. You can use something else. And the vibrance, which is the paper bead glaze. And this will make it water resistant and will prevent your bead from yellowing. So any you use mud podge or diamond glaze, the paper glaze will make it res water resistant and will not um, change color. So to begin, um, I would just pick out some words here from this letter. So I chose this one because it has some nice words that somehow would uh, give meaning to you, for example, or to me. And so um, I would use this word, for example, community. So I'm just going to cut it out like this. Other side. So make sure that you use a, a mat like what I'm using. And then just and there's your word. I would then of course, you need to cut out several words so your bead will look nice. I will just take my diamond glaze or glue and just brush it on your bead where you want to position your paper. And I will use the brush to pick up my paper and just lay it on there like that. And you can brush more glue to it like so. And you can continue doing that, filling your bead with words that you like. You can get it from old books, you can get it from uh, catalog, junk mail, whatever. And I'm going to show you one that I already made. And this is the same way, but I cut it out from an old book. It has the words soul, light, dreams, divine, and I already uh, put diamond glaze or used the diamond glaze to paste it onto the bead. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of vibrance and brush it onto your bead. So this will just stay on here forever um, now that you have put glaze over it and you just let it dry and I think one coat should be enough. 
Now when you're done, you let it dry for like 15 minutes. And you can put this um, on a cord and use it as a single pendant or just, you know, give it to someone. So that's it for today. I realized that I haven't shown you a close-up of the bead, of the word that's on the bead. So here it is. That's the cutout word that I pasted onto the bead. And this is the sheet or sheet of paper that I cut the words out from and pasted onto this bead. And the bead that I already made earlier with the words on it. I'm just trying to get a nice good angle. So this is the bead that has all this nice words on here from an old book and ready to be strung onto a leather cord. Thanks for watching.